to our crib. We're gonna give you a little Airbnb tour to start the day. So as you walk in, you see our very spacious and nice bathroom with a large, very large shower, which was very nice last night. Walk down this hallway. We have our kitchen. It's fully stocked with all the equipment we need. Right connected out of the kitchen is the living room. Oh, but wait, the coolest feature? Blue lights. Ceiling mood lights. Love it. Open our back door over here, which leads us out to our small little backyard area. Usually there's kittens playing out here, but I'm not sure where they are right now. And the last room we have to show you is our bedroom. The best part is that this Airbnb was so affordable and we have it all to ourselves. We don't have to share with anyone. Welcome to Istanbul. It's our first full day. We had last night a little bit to like walk through the streets and see a little bit. But now we're gonna go and explore the city. We have a few big sites in mind. We're here for like five days and so our plan is to just see a few of the major attractions and then just wander around and see what we can find. One, two, Walking to the metro stop, we came across this restaurant and it says authentic Turkish Turkish breakfast. So we're gonna try it because we're hungry. Never mind, we're now at a different place because the other place had a really long wait. So we just found this other random place and the guy just told us a bunch of things to order and so we'll see what we get. <laughs> I think we're gonna get like a giant food spread, which may or may not cost a lot of money, but everything's super cheap, so I don't I don't think it'll cost any more than a normal breakfast. <laughs> we're starting with bread, cucumber, tomato, butter, olives, and tea. <laughs> and he made room for a lot more stuff. We really have no idea what we ordered, so I think it'll be really good. That was amazingly good. So delicious for what it like what it was. It didn't look like anything like crazy. We got the minimum, which is like their little omelet, and then some other thing with egg and sausage and then the whole breakfast plate with like cheese and butter and honey and oh my gosh. And the best part is that it was only 10 USD. So it was like 195 lira. We are loving the Turkish economy. <laughs> also the challenge is on. Elena already did her challenge for the day and so we're having to count cats. We've already seen two cats, which is less than I thought we were gonna see. So maybe I'll double my, uh, my punishment for seeing a cat. <laughs> the blue mosque it is not actually blue on the outside it's just blue because it has 20,000 ceramic tiles on the inside that are all handmade and have a blue shade it's mostly under construction on this side of the building that we can see so hopefully it's better on the inside so hopefully we can see something else which was constructed in the 1600s. It's huge. And we looked up pictures, it's really pretty, but we can't really see it right now because it's all under construction. We can only see part of the ceiling. But it's still interesting and it was free. So there are tons of people in here and it smells like feet because you have to take your shoes off. <laughs> There's all these fake pillars 
in place of the real ones. But at least they have blue scaffolding on the top to make it look actually blue. <laughs> it looks more white than blue at the moment. Right now we're waiting in line for the Hagia Sophia. It was built in the 500s, I think 532 to 37. And it has been like the principal church through all the empires that have lived in Turkey. It looks a lot older than the Blue Mosque already. Yeah, you can just tell how that it's been, like so old. It's also the world's longest line to get into this place, so. Hopefully it's not under construction on the inside. <laughs> Oh my. Just a crazy amount of people. Wow, this is so pretty. This is absolutely insane. It is massive. It's crazy to me how old this is. Like, how did people that long ago do this? I don't understand. At the time it was built, it was the largest religious place in the entire world. And it probably is still one of its. It's unbelievable how giant it is. This is like just as questionable to me as the pyramids. <laughs> yeah, like how in the world did like, they do it? What? The other great thing is that it's free to visit these mosques. I feel like they should charge tourists for the amount of people that come here, but I guess they just get donations only. Crazy. The announcer is wearing a Boston Celtics shirt. <laughs> America is everywhere. It's insane that almost 1,500 years worth of people have used this place as a place of worship. It's holding up good. <laughs> Constantinople himself was here. That's crazy. There's also Christian themes and Islamic themes throughout, which is very unique, especially for it now being a mosque. But it's it's cool that they preserve the history. I also like how it's carpeted. You have to take your shoes off and come in and it's nice and soft and carpeted. <laughs> You look very stylish. Actually, they don't look bad. You like them? I kind of like them. They're just so dark. I do kind of like them. Right now we're walking through the Grand Bazaar, which is one of the world's oldest and largest covered markets. Over 4,000 different stalls and 61 covered streets. We've already gotten lost like five times. <laughs> we're, we're just like going down a bunch of different hallways. We have no idea where we are now. They're also very good at trying to convince you to buy stuff, which is pretty entertaining. Also, interesting fact, in 2014, this was the world's number one biggest tourist attraction, most visited tourist attraction in the entire world. 91.2 million people came here, which is bigger than the population of Turkey. This place is huge, and literally every hallway is filled with tons of people. I don't even know 
know how to get out of here. <laughs> how are we gonna leave? We're stuck in the middle of the maze. I think that's the plan. That's the whole point of They want to trap you so that you buy all of the stuff. And the frozen, frozen strawberry. The frozen strawberry. We're so thirsty. Oh my goodness. We brought like a full big water bottle, but the tap water here does not taste very good. It tastes like a tortilla. <laughs> I think it tastes like a tortilla. You think it tastes like tea or something? Jasmine tea. I don't like jasmine tea, but... I like tortillas, but I don't like my water tasting like a tortilla. <laughs> Okay, so there's these little bread shops all over the city that are selling these little circle breads. Don't really know what they're called, but they look really good. And you can get Nutella and other stuff on them. We ended up just getting a plain one to try. So let's try it. <laughs> it would probably be better with some sort of spread, but it's still pretty good. Right now we're walking through the Egyptian Bazaar. It's the second largest covered bazaar in Istanbul. And it's more focused around spices and like sweet treats and Turkish delight and stuff like that. And tea. Oh, and tea, lots of tea. We stopped in like one of the first shops we went into and ended up being in there for like 20 minutes. We bought the, ch the spiciest chili pepper that they had. He made me try a whole handful of it. But we couldn't get any videos because Elena was had her hands full of all the samples and all her ROTs and we couldn't put them down so it's just a funny interaction anyway this is our last stop for today last main stop we might wander around and find some more things but now we're going to the grocery store to make some dinner for tonight While our food is cooking, I'm going to accomplish my challenge for the day. We saw 10 cats, actually 11. We saw one as we went out to get groceries. And so I'm going to quintuple that today. So 55 pull-ups and 55 push-ups. It just seemed like not nearly a challenge to do one per cat. So here we go. Oh, also the only pull-up space we have is this little door frame. Sometimes the door frames are very weak and they'll break, but thankfully this one is pretty good, but it's just really shallow. So it might take a second. Fifty-five, baby. Real quick, before you go, we want to say a quick thank you to our sponsor for today's episode, Istanbul Cart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, we're kidding. We don't have any sponsors. But thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.